The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Mr. Speaker, now I'm pleased to yield two minutes to a valuable member of the Committee on Rules, Mr. Massey of Kentucky. The gentleman from Kentucky is recognized for two minutes. I truly thank the chairman for yielding me time because he knows I'm slightly opposed to the rule, um, so he's very gracious. I'm concerned that the speaker's cut a deal with the Democrats to fund foreign wars rather than to secure our border. But what I want to talk about today is process. The bill that will come out of the House after all of this is a bill that began as H.R. 815 to expand the eligibility for veterans to receive reimbursements for their emergency care. How did a bill that was intended for veterans that came out of the House uh, become a bill that may bring us to the brink of war at least three places on the globe by sending $100 billion to military contractors? Well, it started in the House and then the Senate took it and stripped every word from the bill. Why did they do this? Were they trying to get around the origination clause in the Constitution? Were they trying to shortcut some process? It's, it's one of those things. But what we've got now is a collection of bills, and I do appreciate that we get individual votes on four of these bills, but they include $100 billion. They don't include securing our border. They include a bill called the Repo Act, which could call into question the value of our Treasury bills when we go out to auction those next, if we are going to confiscate Treasury bills that we sold to other countries. It also includes a bill that allows the uh, president to ban websites based on his discretion. I'm concerned about that. This bill, H.R. 815, started as a veterans bill, went to the Senate, got gutted, became the foreign aid package bill. Now here in the House, we're going to vote on four separate titles, but we're going to package them back as amendments to that H.R. 815. So we're actually going to send it back to the Senate as the bill they sent to us, which is the gutted veterans bill. I know this is all confusing, but why is this all being done this way? Some will say to force the Senate's hand, but really what it's going to do is jam the Senate, the conservatives in the Senate, who would like to have a more fulsome debate. Expired. And with that, I, I am opposed to the rule, and I thank the chairman. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The 